That's right, Marcy Ryan. DA Luis Sain says bond fees are not being collected as they should, and there's hundreds of thousands of dollars owed to Cameron County. But bail bonds business owners tell us with the new policies, it could take just one criminal who doesn't show up to court to break their business. So I instructed my staff, uh, you know, to go after these uh, debts that are owed to the county. In just a few months, Cameron County District Attorney Louis Sainz's office has collected $145,000 in final default judgments owed to the county by bail bonds companies. So hopefully at this pace, we'll hopefully go over $200,000 for the year. Before this new policy, bail bonds companies were only responsible to pay 10% of a bond. But now they're responsible to fork up 100% of a bond if the alleged criminal they bailed out does not show up for court. That means if their client is out on a $40,000 bond, Bond and they fail to show, the $40,000 becomes automatically due. Collecting debts is something that, uh, you know, perhaps the DA that was here was not interested in, but I'm very interested in it because it, it's money that belongs to the public. And like in any other business, if you owe a debt, you have to pay it, and if, if not, you go under, you go out of business. And going under is exactly what several bail bonds business owners tell us is inevitable with the change. Action 4 reached out to four companies, all who refused to go on camera for fear of retaliation. But off camera, they tell us they already have to compete with the county's own low percentage bond program offered to indigent clients. This will make it even harder to do business. And a bondsman shows up to jail and literally says, let this person out of jail. And if this person fails to appear in court, I will pay. Well, guess what? I mean, if he shows up, great, but if he doesn't show up, then you got to pay because that's the promise you made. Bondsmen say their business could possibly stay afloat if they were forced to pay 25% of a total bond if their client failed to appear in court. But 100%, they say, will put most of the 35 companies throughout the county out for good. Science disagrees. I think that the ones that are not adhering to the business like principles are going to go out of business. And what's that's, all that is going to do is create more business for the ones that are adhering to business like principles. So, no, it, it's a good thing. Court documents shows the DA's office is currently looking to collect debt from at least five different bail bond companies. Some of those company owners we spoke with today also say they are meeting with lawyers to try and stop this new policy. Live in the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action 4 News.